Welcome everyone, today we'll be answering the question, should you buy Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2? So let's get started. For those who've never heard of Garden Warfare, it's a hilarious third person shooter where, as the title suggests, plants and zombies of all different kinds fight to kill each other. The game is centered around multiplayer and has a whole bunch of modes to play. These modes can be played with the seven classes that each side has. What's important about them is how different they all are. They encapsulate most types of playstyles to allow for a diverse and fun experience. I liked a lot of things about Garden Warfare 2. First thing was the multiplayer and how much fun it was. I could tell that there was a lot of creativity put into the game by the different characters, the 12 of them that had things like a pirate zombie or a superhero or a rolling orange with lasers, that one was my favorite. And the different creative classes allowed me to play something new every time I chose a different character. Playing with friends was a lot of fun because having the different attacks and the different quirky abilities, just the game not taking itself seriously in this weird Plants vs. Zombies world was a lot of fun to laugh at and enjoy with other people. This is definitely a social game. When it came to things to do, I always had something that I could do because there are things like the multi-wave survival mode, gardens and graveyards, there's the overworld battles, there's online multiplayer, and there's now the single player quests, which kept me busy trying to find coins, getting new items. All the things to collect were really an incentive to do the things in the game. There were challenges I could do to further that and collect characters, abilities, clothing, gestures, and if I really just wanted to do something alone and go out collect-a-thon, I could get snow globes and gnomes. There's always something to do in the game and I really enjoyed that. When it comes to cons, one thing I would define as either a con or a neutral thing is that there is a very weak campaign. The fact that they have a single player part of the game is great, but really it's a whole bunch of things on a to-do list to earn coins. There's not much story involved, and it's basically a challenge that's spoken by a corn or a robot. It's not much of a campaign. Though this could be a good thing because the game is meant to be social, something like a story or something that bogs down people from being able to play every part of the game at all points can put a damper on being able to be social and having friends play it all at the same time no matter where they are in the game. So this could be a con or a neutral thing depending on how you look at it. The overpowered sunflower is really the biggest thing that I found was a downfall in this game. Currently, balance is a significant thing, and it's a very, very important thing that keeps the game in a neutral spot between competitive and fun because of its humor. The rose is overpowered and it makes it very unfun when you play against five different roses that just destroy everyone. I want to experience that flying zombie, or I want to experience that rolling orange. But I can't do that when I have to fight fire with fire and get a rose to defeat the other roses. Or, it's more plants versus zombies, but when you're on the plant side and you choose all roses, it really does not make for a fun game and removes the fun from the game. And that's what you're targeting when making a game, which can be a very bad thing. So I hope that this is fixed in the very near future, which I assume it will be. First, if you're somebody who played Plants vs. Zombies 1 and really enjoyed it, you'll probably enjoy Garden Warfare 2. This game is very similar to the first one, but now has campaign quests, it has new classes, new modes, new maps, it now has an overworld, has more collectibles, has easter eggs, and just in general, the presentation of the game is very different. Before you had online multiplayer and the menu system, and that was really the whole thing. Having an overworld gives it a lot more of a personality to the game and makes it feel like it's much more dynamic and 3D, not just in the sense of visuals, but in the sense of experience. Next, if you're somebody who wants something that's a social game for everyone to enjoy equally, this is probably another thing to consider as it's a competitive and balanced game, yet it doesn't take itself too seriously. This means that the game is great for having people who are casual and hardcore gamers alike, as both can enjoy a lot from this, as it's even, but it's also fun. You can pick this up and not play very often, and still be right there having fun as the person who's got all those different characters, so it's always a pick up and play game. In the same sense, those who want a game that they can just pick up and play and return to over time, this is probably a game for them too. No story means nothing can be spoiled for you, equal playground means that your absence doesn't make you unable to win, those people with extra characters or better characters you can still beat, 
and the game shows your progress like a collection, meaning it's not about really finishing the game, but progressing. Seeing your garden grow is very, very enjoyable, and seeing that slowly grow over time is something that's nice to return to. It's kind of like if you have a, a rough day or something, you really don't want to go to something that's a bit more of a war game. At least in my opinion, what I like going to is something that's a bit more upbeat and not chalant. And that's what this game is for me. Finally, if you're someone who's bored of the serious shooter that is plentiful today, this is probably a game for you as it's something that's different from the market today. There's a lot of different war shooters, there's a lot of different shooters out there that are first person. Third person shooters aren't as plentiful and especially those that don't take themselves seriously. Plants vs Zombies is a quality shooter that if you want to try something new, creative and fun, it's definitely a good choice. But there's always a demographic out there who a game is not built for. People that would include are those who would value campaign the most out of anything in a game, as that's not the centerfold here, that is not the part of the game that makes up the core of it, and if you're looking for a strong campaign, this is not the game for you. Second, this is not a game for those who really enjoy fast-paced shooters. Granted, this game is not slow by any means, but it takes a middle ground approach, and not every class has fast transporting abilities, there's a whole bunch of different options, a whole bunch of different classes, and not every one is going to be based around that. So if you like something that is really fast paced, this might not be the thing for you. Another thing to note is since this is multiplayer centered, you will definitely want to have at least mediocre internet to play this. So if you have bad internet, this could be a game that you pay your money for and really just don't get the nice experience that is created for you because of your internet connection. And finally, if you're not somebody who likes to play with online friends, this is probably not the game for you, as it's a very social game. If you're not somebody who likes to socialize while playing, if you're very simple and secluded, this is probably not something for you, as it's a very multiplayer and social and great game for playing with other people. But if you're just playing by yourself alone, if you don't have a mic on, you really won't get as much of a fun experience out of it. There's so much social interaction when it comes to seeing somebody die or get blown up or interacting or coordinating that this game really isn't as much fun. You could blow off some steam with it alone, which if you decide to do that is a good idea, but playing with online friends is such a core thing with playing this that it might not be worth it if you don't do that. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my first time doing it, so let me know exactly what you think in the comments. My name's been Reckless Riley, and I will see you guys later.